In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix lobby not found error code 2901 in Modern Warfare 3. So the first thing you can do is close the game and open it back again. So simply shut down and exit the game and open it back. If that didn't fix the issue, you can try restarting your console or your computer. So if you're playing for example on PlayStation, restart your PlayStation and that could fix it. Or if you're playing on a computer, simply uh, close down your computer, shut it down and restart it, okay? And what I also wanted to say is that you may have to do that multiple times in order for it to take effect and to help you, okay? If that didn't work either, you can go to your uh, router and modem and simply restart them, okay? So restart it and uh, wait for it to turn back again and see if this fixed the issue. Now, if that didn't work either, some people have reported that switching from a LAN cable to a Wi-Fi connection actually somehow fixed their issue. Now, if you're using a LAN cable, which means you're, you're having uh, your internet connection connected via cable to your computer, you want to disconnect that and switch to Wi-Fi and vice versa. So if you're using Wi-Fi, you can try switching to LAN cable and see if that solves the issue. If it doesn't, you can also try this. So if you're playing on Steam, you can verify the integrity of game files and start the game as administrator, okay? And the way you do this is as follows. I'll show you right now. So to start the game as admin, first you want to close down Steam completely. You do this by simply pressing this X button, but that's not enough. You want to go down here to show hidden icons, right click and exit Steam. Now this will shut down Steam completely. The way to check if it did is as follows. You want to right click here on your taskbar and click task manager, type in steam at the top. And if there's nothing popping up, that's good. That's great. You can close that down. But if there's steam popping up, you simply want to click on it and press end task. Now that's for the first part. Then what you want to do is look for steam down here in your search menu inside windows, right click it and press run as administrator. You may have to put in your admin PIN code. If it asks you to, just do it. Nothing bad will happen. And then after that, wait for Steam to open up. Now, we've successfully st uh, started Steam as administrator, and I'll show you how to open the game as admin as well. So basically, once Steam opens up, you're now running Steam as administrator, and any game you will run through your library will now open up as admin. So simply look for your game, and then click on it and press play via Steam, not via your desktop shortcut, and that will open the game as admin and hopefully fix your issue. If it doesn't, you can try to verify the integrity of game files, which you can do in Steam as well by going to library, clicking on your Modern Warfare game, okay? So click it, right click, properties, installed files and then you want to click verify integrity of game files this will scan automatically through all your installed files of the game on your computer and see if there are any damaged files corrupted files stuff like that it will replace those files re-download those files again and basically make your um, file directory clean and ready to play and after this which should take a few seconds up to a few minutes at max if there's something corrupted then you can close this down once it's done and simply press play and see if that fixes the issue. So I hope this video helped you out and if it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.